Now, former U.S. President Donald Trump is making headlines again. A new U.S. media report alleges that Trump pressure, pressurized Michigan officials to toss President Joe Biden's win in the 2020 polls. Now, the former president reportedly made a phone call to two fellow Republicans in an attempt to pressure local officials to interfere with the 2020 presidential elections. And Trump asked them to not certify the totals once voting was over. And according to the report, Trump's November 17, 2020 phone call involved National Committee Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel and Wayne County Elections Authorities Monica Palmer and William Hartman. Now, the former president told them that they would look, quote-unquote, terrible if they certified the results after opposing the certification initially. The two then issued affidavits opposing the certification of the Wayne County. Now, the following day, the two unsuccessfully tried to change their votes in favor of the certification. Listen in. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those in favor, favor say nay. Or all those opposed, say nay. 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 Now, separately on Friday, U.S. top court has denied to expedite the case regarding the former president's immunity against his efforts to overturn the 2020 polls. And the request for expediting the case was first flagged by the U.S. special counsel, Jack Smith. And earlier this week, a Colorado court ruled that Trump's interference in the 2020 presidential elections, including the Capitol riots, disqualified him from running for the 2024 presidential elections. Multiple reports established that Trump's claims over the elections being stolen were baseless, but he remained persistent and pushed to nullify the results. This has not hindered the former president's popularity in the Republican Party as he remains the clear front-runner of the conservatives.